the economy no longer needs sustained high levels of monetary policy support. Fed Chair Jerome Powell said on Wednesday that the U.S. Central Bank is likely to raise interest rates in March and warned that inflation remains high and that supply chain issues are bigger and longer lasting than previously thought. I, I would say that the, the committee is, uh, is, is of a mind to, to, to raise the federal funds rate at the March meeting, assuming that uh, conditions are appropriate for doing so. We have, we have our eyes on, on the risks, uh, particularly uh, around the world, uh, but uh, uh, we do expect some softening in the economy from Omicron, but we think that that should be temporary, and we think that uh, the economy should, the underlying strength of the economy should, um, you know, should, should show through fairly quickly after that. Powell's comments following the end of a two-day policy meeting pushed stocks into negative territory by Wednesday's close. Powell also reaffirmed plans to end the Fed's bond purchases in March before launching what he called a substantial reduction in its nearly $9 trillion balance sheet. The economy is much stronger and inflation is much higher. So, uh, and, and I think that leads you to, and I sa I've said this, uh, being willing to move sooner than we did in, in the last time, and also perhaps faster. The combined moves will complete the Fed's pivot away from the loose monetary policy that has defined the coronavirus pandemic era and toward a more urgent fight against inflation. Investors expect another three rate hikes this year after the March liftoff from the current near zero level. The Dow surrendered its nearly 500 point gain late in the session Wednesday, nose diving along with the S&P 500 to finish lower. Stocks initially surged after the Federal Reserve said it's keeping key interest rates at zero for now. But the hefty gain soon evaporated as the Fed signaled it'll soon raise interest rates to combat inflation. Spartan Capital Securities Chief Market Economist Peter Cardillo says, however, the Fed should have acted sooner. It, it was late. There's no question about that. They were behind the curve. Um, and that's why all of a sudden they're, they're, they're somewhat hawkish. But uh, uh, can it be dealt with? Yes. The Dow declined 130 points or four tenths percent. The S&P 500 shed nearly two-tenths percent, but the Nasdaq managed to barely break even, supported by shares of Microsoft, which gained nearly three percent. The software developer issued a bullish forecast for quarterly revenue, driven partly by its cloud business. Mattel shares jumped over four percent. The toy makers snatched back the right to make toys from Disney's Princess lineup and the Frozen franchise, from arch rival Hasbro, whose shares dropped sharply. After the bell, shares of Tesla rose. The world's most valuable automaker delivered a record number of vehicles. Its quarterly revenue surged higher, zipping past analysts' estimates. Tesla sped past Wall Street estimates for quarterly revenue Wednesday, but warned supply chain issues could continue through this year. Despite the challenges, Tesla handed over a record number of vehicles to customers in the last quarter. Revenue rose to $17.72 billion in the fourth quarter from $10.74 billion a year earlier. The electric car maker has not been as affected by a hampered supply chain as other auto competitors have, but in a statement, Tesla said, quote, Our own factories have been running below capacity for several quarters as supply chain became the main limiting factor, which is likely to continue through 2022. Shares of Tesla fell in extended trading. The company also said on Wednesday that its new factory in Austin has started production of Model Y late last year, with plans to start deliveries to customers after final certification. It said it aims to maximize output from its California factory beyond 600,000 vehicles per year. That goal comes as Tesla, the world's most valuable automaker, faces rising competition from rivals who are set to launch an array of electric cars, from more affordable models to electric pickups. Thank <laughs> you.